Hello, my name is Chris Jordan. I'm an application engineer with Trimac out of the Knoxville office. And today we're going to be looking at geometry pattern and why it matters. So right now I have just a simple sheet metal part with some perforated holes. There's about 500 of these holes and we're going to look at what the rebuild time on this is. So it looks like it's about 25.17 seconds. So just kind of keep that in mind. 25 seconds for a part that is fairly simple. It just has some holes in it. 25 seconds if we had a bunch of these in assembly you can imagine uh, what the rebuild time would be. So this is with geometry pattern turned off which means that for each one of these 500 holes the original hole was created with an up to next end condition. So for each one of these holes, it is creating the hole and then trying to figure out what up to next means 500 times. It takes about 25 seconds to do that. So if we just simply go into this pattern and edit it and check this geometry pattern option down here at the bottom. We'll do performance evaluation. We see it comes out to 0.67 seconds. So a 25 second savings. And this is what we would expect on a simple part like this, about half a second. So when do we use geometry pattern and when shouldn't we use it? Geometry pattern should be used if every single instance of the feature that we're trying to pattern is going to be identical. Geometry pattern ignores the end condition and simply patterns the exact same thing. So if we had a maybe angled piece that uh, each different hole needed to be offset from the bottom surface a certain distance, we wouldn't want to use geometry pattern. But if every single hole is going to be the exact same, we want to make sure, or every hole, every extrusion, flange, whatever we're patterning, if they're going to be identical, we want to make sure to use that geometry pattern. That's going to save us a ton of time on rebuild. And especially moving these into assemblies, we want to make sure all our parts are as fast loading as possible. So as always, if you have any questions, feel free to call out to 888-TRIMAC or support at trimac.com on how to use geometry pattern or if you have any questions on what it actually does that I didn't cover here. Or you can simply leave a comment on the accompanying